In today's video, we're going to be rolling the Magic 8 Ball to see what Cardano's outlook is from my mom's basement and if it's good or not. Of course, in my opinion, the outlook is always going to be good for Cardano so long as Decentralized stays up and things stay up and running. And really, one of these videos that I'm doing today is these uh, weekly series where I give everyone a bit of hopium and maybe myself too, but just kind of document how I'm thinking about Cardano right now currently, especially during a very glim and more bare time compared to when I was, you know, at the peak of my euphor euphorism and we were in, you know, all time highs next week, all that type of thing, $20 this year, $30 this year, things like that weren't going through my head. But nowadays, not so much. And although things are fundamentally better than ever, the outlook is good, the price not so much in comparison to all time highs that we saw in last September of $3. Now we're at around, you know, 46 cents. If you are holding your ADA though, I would consider staking with the Jack Stake Pool to earn passive ADA on your ADA. But today's video, we aren't talking really about that. We're talking about the general outlook of Cardano. And I have went over most of these points that I'm going to go over today in previous videos, you know, scattered across a few videos. I have more videos that you can watch too, to go in depth on some of these points. But in general, Cardano is down with the rest of the market. And it is up against Bitcoin and Ethereum, yes. But we also have to keep in mind that it is down significantly or about the same from all time highs as these two as well. So maybe it's saying something, maybe it's not. I don't really know, um, you know, Cardano being up 100% against Ethereum in a month. That was pretty cool to see. But does it really mean much? We'll only only a matter of time before we find out. Um, but maybe a little bit longer than most people would like to wait and sit on their hands with their coins. Now, we also have the stats of transaction volume. Cardano is at 9 billion, you know, Bitcoin's at 120 billion and Ethereum's at 6 billion. Now, these are obviously inflated statistics as the extended UTXO and the UTXO model of Bitcoin the way Cardano and ADA get tracked is a bit skewed, especially Cardano's extended UTXO model. So keep that in mind that this data is not really too you know, accurate. It's not really too useful, but it does show that Cardano does have a lot lower fees than other blockchains, which is nice to see. That being said, my outlook for my mom's basement is generally, as I said, good. And everything that has been building on Cardano and everything that has been going on from, you know, Hydra coming to Cardano, that is a massive layer two scaling to already we have layer two scaling with Mokamata and some other huge protocols being built on top of Mokamata to input endorsers, increasing just the general throughput of the chain by a lot. And I mean a lot. Some people speculating that this would undoubtedly make Cardano scale to the same amounts as some other smart contract chains and still remain those cheap cheap fees that you know ethereum might not have or other blockchains might not have and yes there are still plenty of people building on cardano i made video about yesterday about maladex and i'll make a lot of videos about these projects coming up but honestly there's so many to cover it would be pretty much impossible to cover every single one in a video and a lot of these are going to be big big projects some of them maybe not so much but a lot of them are indeed going to be major parts of cardano's future and I look forward to seeing some new names on the list as we go forward. Pretty much every single week, you're going to see new names on this list, um, whether it be from, you know, gaming, lending and borrowing or tools, or maybe it's going to be another Dex. There is going to be a lot more competitors in the space as things heat up with the Vissel hard fork also coming in about, I believe it is nine days or 10 days now. In general, when I'm in my mom's basement, I like to read a bit of Sun Tzu quotes and just think about how, you know, things may be pretty glim right now, but that's usually where the, you know, tough people are made or, you know, opportunities grabbed, things like that, whatever kind of inspirational lingo you want to put out there to help you cope through this time. But in reality, yes, things may be down. And yes, it can be pretty sad and a little bit you know, easier to sleep in throughout the day when the price of your net worth has went down 85%. If you're like me, who's pretty much been all in Cardano for the past year. But in general, if you believe in something, which I do believe in Cardano, it's going to work out. And if it doesn't, then, you know, you took the risk and it didn't. But really, if Cardano doesn't work out, I'm fine with the risk I'm taking. If you can't say the same, maybe you should de-risk. Maybe it's too late to de-risk. Um, but you can learn a lot from making a major mistake now and, you know, recovering from it by making plays in crypto or just, you know, maybe not making as much plays in crypto and not risking as much depending on, you know, where your pitfalls were and, you know, recover from that, learn from it. And maybe you won't, 
really feel that good about learning from it if you lost a lot of money. But that is the case in crypto and that is the case in life in general. Things are not always going to go your way and really they are not always going to go so smoothly. I don't think anyone really thought we'd be at 46 cent ADA now, nowadays um, when we were at $3 back in September last year. And things have played a lot differently than most people would have expected. So who's to say we don't see something crazy happen in the next year to two that could also put you in a very good position if you're holding crypto. And yes, it very well all could go to zero dollars, but I don't think that's going to happen. Otherwise, I wouldn't bet 99% of my net worth on crypto and Cardano specifically. More specifically, Cardano, even though it's at such a low price point and crypto in general, people are more bearish than ever. But at the same time, especially for Cardano, there's never been so much developments coming from input endorser Solar to scaling to tons and tons of dApps being built. There's never been this much development for Cardano ever before. And also the price has never been this low for a long, long time, over a year. So this opportunity to me is massive, as a famous quote might say. I don't have any fiat to deploy, so obviously I'm not going to be buying any more Cardano with fiat, and I have taxes to pay. But in general, this is not something that I really get bearish about. And especially if I invested with a long-term plan, 5 to 10, 10 plus years really for Cardano, um, is my long-term play and it's where majority of my net worth I plan to hold in Cardano for the time being, for the time going forward, as long as I have conviction in the asset. And this just gives me more conviction. Development is up more than ever. The price is down, but that doesn't really matter so much um, in terms of where things are going in the next long-term five to 10 years. Seeing a price down for you know a year or two, that's okay, especially if we're looking long term. And yes, maybe it's a bit of copium in some senses, but to me, it is very true that nothing has been this strong fundamentally on Cardano until now, even with the price down 85% from all time highs. Looking back, I can imagine that the people who bought around a dollar and when a retrace to, you know, four cents weren't feeling so good. And same thing here, even though my average buy price is around a dollar 55 and we've retraced to a third of that. I still do feel that level of conviction that I felt up at $3. At $3, yes, it would have been a genius 100 IQ move to sell some Cardano and rebuy like triple the tokens or eight times the amount of tokens or ADA uh, back now, but you can't predict the market. So thinking like that, it's not really gonna help anyone. And if you're wondering whether to sell now, I'm not gonna tell you yes or no, because I don't know your situation. Everyone's is different. But to me right now, most people Pretty much all, everyone is going to be selling at a loss if they bought in the past year. So most people probably should just hold on. I mean, that's what I'm doing. So that's what I'm assuming for myself. I'm not saying telling you what to do. I'm not a financial advisor whatsoever. Most people are probably just going to want to hold on because why sell at a loss, especially if you have conviction and asset and things are still fundamentally stronger than ever. Why sell now? Of course, there is legitimate answers to that question, taxes, life expenses, things that you actually need money for to live out your life, basic needs. There are going to be reasons to sell Cardano, but if you don't need the money and if you've invested only what you could afford to lose and don't really need right now, then chances are you're sitting on some extra cash that can be afforded to rest out in an asset like Cardano. And if it goes to say five, ten dollars in the next four or five years, then you'll be sitting pretty with that investment. So as I said at the start of the video, the outlook to me is still very good for Cardano. Nothing fundamentally has gone south only the price. And that is really the least of our concerns here, because fundamentally, when things are strong, price usually catches up, at least from what I've seen. And when things are not are not fundamentally strong, the outlook is the opposite of good. It is very bad, especially with centralized entities having some major problems in crypto right now, and major downfalls from Terra Luna to Celsius to hopefully not too many more uh, black swan like events, not really black swan, but they are pretty detrimental for crypto's health and well-being for the short term. Hopefully we see less of that and hopefully more people realize that the strong fundamentals backing projects with decentralization and much more good efforts and crypto ethos in mind will be the ones that come out on top. Once people see that, I do think the bear market will end uh, pretty briefly or abruptly and we can resume back into crazy all-time euphoric prices and then repeat the cycle probably for a few more years until it becomes a bit more mainstream. But that's it for today's video. If you have ADA and you're holding it, please stake it with a stake pool and you can do so with the Jack stake pool as well to earn passive ADA on your ADA. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's me, friend Jack. Peace out.